Oh, you're this bad boy. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just just checking things out. This is a Mercedes grill that I found over the other shop. Basically, where I'm at, um, I really enjoy the whole car. The car looks really, really, really good. Um, I guess today is where I got the top of this door done. Um, got that looking good like the other side. But now it's on to the front end. Um, and I'm going around picking up stuff that I think I could use or just ideas I have. Or not ideas I have. Basically, what I do is when I'm doing this, I go to what I have and what I can make it look like and try to visualize it as I'm doing it. So I went out and picked out a few grills. This is the original grill. Uh, that's the original one for it. Not wanting to go there. See, it goes on the fenders there a little bit. I'm not wanting to go there because that's not, that's not what I want to do. They've already done that, but I bring that in to check that out. I'm just going to stand this over here. Just going to put that aside. I've got, I've got a Mercedes grill. I just put that on there and showed you that. Kind of, kind of counting that one out. Kind of doesn't look kind of big and nosy, or nobody wants to be nosy. <laughs> it's kind of a big grill for that. What's that? I don't Come on, talk to me, Jolene. Talk to me. I don't care for it. Jolene does not care for it, so I'm going to back off a little bit. Also, as I put that on there, um, I, ha I have to remember that that hood comes forward. And what it does is it comes up far enough that it could hit something that if I'm going to customize something, I have to make sure that the hood will open. I'm not wanting, I'm not wanting to use the original headlights, the grill, and obviously the headlights. So I've got this Jeep barrel. I think it's probably 80s, 90s. What happens with that? Now, if I have that grill and if I like that grill, I've got this grill in, not this grill, but I've got another Dodge grill like this in Elvis. It's a, out of a 90s Dodge van, I think it's out of. What, what happened there is the fenders on Elvis are welded on at the bottom um, because of what I'm doing for custom on it, I guess. Elvis is another car that we have and it's welded up around, the, up around where the cowl is and the fenders do not come off. Um, the fenders do not come off. Um, and basically what I've done is I was able to cut that section out of the front fenders because the front fenders are welded to the car. And with it like this, um, I, you have to understand, you would not be just only customizing this part. You'd have to customize the fenders also to fit the grill. And sometimes it's easier just to have the fenders welded to the car and then cut it out and put it in wherever you like it. Um, with To take it in and take it out, um, then you really have to do a lot of work around that fender um, to make it fit that grill. So it goes in and out and plus the front. So. Sometimes you have to think about and understand the work that's involved with each piece. So that, to me, that, that piece right there, um, I would say the front end would be all one piece. You wouldn't have to have it welded on down here. But if you had it welded on at the front, you would take the whole, the whole front piece off at once. We have this piece here. Now this, is a, this is a pretty cool grill. It's been used in quite a few customs. It, it would... It would take up a lot of real estate in the front, would it not? But it would look pretty darn cool. So basically what I'm thinking is, you know, you'd end up welding the fenders on, probably no doubt in my mind, and cutting that around there and then build the metal to it. You could, you could actually, uh, probably this one, you probably could make it fit the fender, cut the fender and put a lip on the fender and make it fit on this one, possibly. What do you think of that one? I don't mind it. It's a heavy bugger, I'll tell you that. Um, I'm not sure if the old Volvo would want to tow it around, that's for sure. I want to thank everybody for coming back, we really appreciate it. Um, we're basically just going through the front end with you, just like we do every day. We film what, we do, what we're doing. And uh, let's try this. I actually ran for this and bought this on Marketplace. And the reason being is, when do you get the chance to own a 1960 Corvette uh, grill, basically? And uh, I ran for it and I got it and here it is. 
Now, I've, I've actually tried it in the hole a couple times. Like it's really not that far off. I think I can leave it there without it falling, I think. Yeah, that's pretty iffy. Um, I think that would be fairly, it'd be easier to install that piece than all those pieces over there because uh, this way here, I don't think I'd have to um, mess with the fenders a whole bunch. I'd mess with them a little bit, but not a whole bunch. It's a bit of bling up front. Um, yeah, it's a bit of bling up front. Looks pretty good. It fits, it's close to fit in the hole too, so it's, it's close. I'm thinking like this one here's uh, really close. We'll put that there. Um, I've got some canted headlights. I did the Green Goblin. I had to go around and get a bunch of different headlights for that car. And the reason being because, or different headlight fixtures because mine were not good. Um, but I still have these. You know, I can dual headlight it. Can headlight it. Um, we, when they did the 50, I not think I'm going with these at all, I don't think, but I can put them on there. Like I can do that with it. Because you've got the whole fender. Right? Not messing with any of that stuff. Still unbolt the fender and all that stuff. No problem whatsoever. Joanne's got her lip going down towards, I think she's looking and thinking. You likey likey. Like, I mean, I could peek it up there, obviously, bring the metal to it. I'll set them over here. Just she's thinking on it. Um, what I was thinking with these things here. Um, I think everybody gets what I'm saying when I put that up there. They can visualize that, can they not? Because if not, I can get the marker and, and pen out and try to make you. Got a headlight, got no bezels on it, not worried about that. Just thinking, just thinking of the idea. If I took and put them on top of the fender, and then I would cut the fender, and it might not even be these headlights, it might be a little bit longer headlight, but I'd cut the fender, and I'd sink the head, the, this headlight bucket halfway down inside the fender. So if I took this fender, so I got to this headlight, I sunk it halfway down in, I'd be in, not down there, but I'd be down quite a ways that I could put this headlight in there and I could weld it along halfway. And then that half shape would be up here. So the half that headlight shape would be up here. I could bring it out a little ways. You have to remind yourself we're, we're halfway this headlight's only sticking out halfway, so it's only up this high. And it's coming out, and you're then your headlight door. And then I could take and make metal. Say I'm stuck out here like this. Uh, the 50, I just went straight in, because I'd never seen anybody do that on the 50. Uh, if you remember the headlights, I just made a bucket come out six inches, and then I uh, round them in, weld them to the fender, and left it on its own. I've never seen it done before. Just kind of pronounced them a little more and made a smaller head like this one here. I'd be cutting the bucket, putting it inside the fender. And then I would weld metal to the bucket from the fender. So this would give me my headlight. This would give me a nice shape up here of a headlight protruding out of the fender. And then it would give me a place to weld metal to, to finish it off on the fender on this side and this side. And on this one, I probably wouldn't go straight in with the metal. I would bring it down on an angle. And we did that on the Pontiac, on the 48 Pontiac. We made it down, come to an angle like that. So actually, the, you'd have the shape of the headlight on the top, halfway, and then you'd have metal going this way around, you'd have metal going this way to the edge of your fender, and then, the fen and then, the then you'd have metal going down towards this way. So your headlight would be out here somewhere, and the front end would be like about that long, and then it'd be, be turned down like this. So your headlight, say that far, and then we go back that way, and that would all be filled in. I think that would be a nice touch on this. And, that, and that's a start, just by cut, cut, slide it in, cut, cut, slide it in. So I want, what's that? Draw it. Let's draw it. She wants me to draw it for a minute. That's what we're gonna do. Because Jolene asked me to. I think I can draw it. So you have a... Oh, oh, can't draw it that way. Man, slipping today, no markers. Um, we're kind of flat right now. 
the hood and the other fender kind of flat like this um, when we do that's what we're there that's where we're at now the hood front fender front fender kind of flat so we'd have front fender uh, hood and we take and bring the headlight and the headlight would come up off the fender up like this a little bit so there'd be a shape there on top uh, headlight would come out here somewhere um, and then we build metal back like this but this would be the fender originally this would be the original fender in here but you'd have this shape on top of it so it'd be that shape yeah I can't really draw that well actually back like that so um, basically this is what this is right here so we began in all this shape up here this this part up here that's the piece that and this piece all this down here this is what we'd be gaining all this and the hood would be like so forth it almost what I'm what I'll be doing is doing a like like a Studebaker thing like the Studebaker headlight is headlight is quite a ways ahead and tilt it back that's what I'd be doing on the front of it but I'd be adding the um, the shape of the top of the headlight in the fender to to give me something to weld to to make that shape that's what i'm thinking and i can take it down far in as, a, as i want it all depends if i want a little bit of shape on top of the fender if i do not want any shape on top of the fender i we would decide that but that'd be a good start to make can you draw uh, the what? front look with the corvette grill and the canted headlights uh, can i draw it and actually put them to the test i'm just these are the teeth that's the thing going through That's sort of what your front end would. Quite. I think it's actually been done on a Volvo. Oh. A green one, I think. Um, this part here, I'm not sure about that, but that's kind of an idea. This is another idea right here. You can see I have, I'm not sure, these are 38, 38, and um, they have this, this have this peak line all the way through, way all the way back to there. You can see it right there, all the way through. If I take and cut all the way across, all the way like here, same way on each side, same one on each side, take my metal that I want around the headlight. I do have the headlight doors for these, I think the 38 or 39, 38. Um, I do have the headlight door, I think, and I can take this metal and then I can lay it on top of, let's try one, let's try one, so actually, let's, let's hold back for a second, let's hold back for a second, let's move these, head, these uh, headlight buckets, and I'm not even saying this is the stuff that I'm going to start with or this is the stuff I'm going to use, but for when you're customizing stuff, that's, you know, go in the old junkyard and take a look around, what, what you can fit on it, I'm, I'm not looking to do what someone else has done really like, I mean let's face it look at the car I'm not looking to do what someone else has done but I'm looking to take away from other looks to get where I want to go if you know what I'm you know I'm, I'm stealing ideas from different cars that are not even close to being on a car like this and then I try them on the car um, this is a Cadillac grill 57 Cadillac when we did the, the 57 Cadillac um, that was the first build for second season uh, we built that car. That car went to SEMA. Um, I didn't feel like when it went to SEMA that, like, I don't know, we didn't have enough time, obviously. Like, probably had a couple months on that car. And, uh, well, I want to say a couple months, but it, in all, but um, it went to SEMA, and I was so proud of it. Wasn't you? Mm -hmm. Looked some good in the sun, man. It looked good. Um, this is 57 Cadillac. Now, I really, I really enjoy that for some reason. Like, I really do. I really enjoy that for some reason. Um, it's got that protruded, um, makes it longer without doing, a, without doing a thing other than pointing out. And I can set it in the original hole. 
I could make it go all the way across and get into the fender somehow, I'm thinking. I obviously can trim it. I, I'm thinking I can trim it to make it fit whatever I want to make it fit. I know I can as far as that goes, but it's just a matter of whether I want to put the work in and have it all the way across, or I can cut it off here and cut it off there and try to get it slid into this mouth here that it has, and it still will protrude. Um, let's face it, when we take it into there, so it would still protrude, you know, four to five inches out to the front, which is I think is really nice. It's, I think it's aluminum or alumni, so it would, we could put this, we got the stuff to clean that up. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we do, but it's just a cool look. Um, and, and I have to repair this down here. Well, that'd be a fantastic time to try to get this up in there, basically, get it cut off and get it fit in there. That would look really nice. Not sure as it comes over here how it would get ended, but I'm sure I could cut a piece of aluminum somehow and end it, you know, on the side. But that's, that's, to me, that's intriguing, that is. So I like, I like the Corvette grill. I like the Cadillac grill. I'm not sure. We have a Packer down back. I think it's 49, the long, thin one. I like, this is what I like doing. When you have a grill going this way, it's always fun to turn the grill up this way. It just changes it all. Basically, and that's what it is. It's probably about that wide. Packer, you'd have to cut it off, obviously, but it would be a, it would be a cool grill. And that would be another one where I'd want to weld them front fenders on and make all the sheet metal come to the headlights and point it wherever, which way, down, up, all around, whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's try one of these on. Okay. The, Can you um, try the Cadillac or the Corvette grill up and down? I will. Jolene wants to put the Corvette grill up and down. And that's, yeah. This is not as wide as the... I used to have to take some off of that. Okay, it's too big. See, now out there you could cut it off from the bottom because basically on the Packard grill, they have one year 48. It's got the nice little round one. That's a nice little one they have. Wouldn't look, would look really good in this, the little Packard grill they have. But the, I'm not sure it's 49 or 50 down there. The grill comes up and it's got a nice little peak on the top. Mm -hmm. Basically what makes that grill is the top construction of it straight down, but it's nice. Could be cut off at the bottom. Could be cut off at the bottom, who knows. And I have to, I don't, I'm not, re not really wanting to weld the front fenders on the car. Not really wanting to do that. But not really wanting to. But you never know. See, like, I, I've, been, I've been chopping a car before and all of a sudden turned into a bike hauler. <laughs> it's just whatever hits you, you know, at the, at the present time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to get my glasses, take a looky. And see if I can't make a straight line and try to cut that headlight. Well, this, this is what I save them for, or that's what I've been thinking about what's going on. This is just a part of a fender, obviously. Not sure why the fender was cut off. Doesn't even matter. What I want is just the, the shape. That's what I want. Not going to do it with that. I'm going to do it with a piece of tape, though. Where did I put that piece of tape? Okay. I just had it. Thank you. Got the other side of the door, um, you know, put on there, tacked in place, ready to rock and roll. Got a lot of welding to do. Not really too concerned about it, but um, there is a lot of, a lot of welding to do. Oh, there always is. I don't know if Archie's welding does as much welding we do. <laughs> and that's a welding shop. I'm sure they do, but <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Just trying to get center of that. Kind of a perfect center, wouldn't it? Huh? Get out of your truck, sir, and draw me a straight line. You've been drinking and driving? Draw me a straight line. Okay, there we go. I just want the same look on each side because it'll fit the fit better down on the fender. Give me a true read, I'm thinking. I'm gonna go this way. Just gonna take a look. Nope. It's not the one I want. Can't 
can't get it. Maybe I have to go over further. I'm gonna cut it off. Doesn't look like you can get it. Do you need more siphon? Is that what you need? Huh? Huh? Is that what you need? And you all right, let's go. That's what she needs. Showing up to work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Keep up the good job. See? It's working. Let's get this cut off now. I get a zip cut. Top of that grinder, right behind you, sweetheart. A couple windy days here in Nova Scotia. Man, I'll tell you, like, you know, you hear about the storms on, on TV and stuff like that, and they're close by down Florida and them places. I um, hear about the storms they have, and man, I'll tell you, a little bit of wind we got here, you're kind of half nervous, like, couldn't, could not, could not imagine. Have no idea. And generally, you do not have any idea unless you've gone through it. You might say, oh, yeah, I know what you mean, but you no, know, you don't. Not until you've gone through it, you have no idea. That's what you have knowledge you haven't got the experience you have no idea grab an old car start doing a, start going for it how much work it is go for it let me inspire you for hours and hours and hours of fun <laughs> <laughs> Fun stuff. Fun stuff right here. Fun stuff. Yeah. Going by this side. Just taking a walk. So, for one, not for one second, do not think that I'm going to throw this shape away because this is the shape that I want. I saved it for this shape. Now I'm just going to try it on. I'm going to try it on. It's like having a new pair of jeans. I'm going to try them on. If they don't fit, I'll shove them back in the cupboard. <laughs> what well, they say? Don't torture yourself. Throw them away. Nope, I'm gonna save them. Now, that would give me a peek. See what I mean by the, the headlight would do the exact same thing. And what I'm, what I'm not liking is, is I'm, the headlight stuck out like that. Don't want that. I don't think, or maybe I do. Maybe I do want the, and then I can bring the peak back like that. Maybe that is, I like that. You like that, sweetheart? It's nice, isn't it? Have it like that. And then the peak, and then that, and then I can take the metal from the headlight here and down. Fina's thinking she's done enough work, and the headlight also. That, that's another. That's another thing. Uh, 
got me messed up. The headlight on these, on these pieces, the headlight comes out further and then comes down. It comes to a smaller piece, right? The glass, the headlight ring is this shape, but the glass comes out and then comes down. And see this piece here, I've got this piece here. As you can tell too, when I was cutting this piece, how good the metal was. Like it wasn't just going <laughs> slide right through it. It did it, it's got nice metal in it, so I'm good with that. But that's got a nice, <laughs> she's getting, did you hear that little, <laughs> she's getting, come on man, let me in. Alrighty, we'll do that, we'll let her in. <laughs> Sorry, Fina, I know it's windy. Good job, you've done a good job out there. Yes, you have, appreciate it. No one's coming. Okay, excuse me. So, that's not, let's do this. This is what I was thinking. And I'm, I'm not, like, I'm thinking I could take the, the, if I put that in there, I stretch it. Yeah. Bring the headlight out a little bit more. And see, see how the headlight's out there like that, quite a ways like that? That gives me a chance to take and put metal. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down. That's just what you gotta do, Teddy. That's where I get a chance to take metal and weld it from here over to there. Mm -hmm. Right? I like that. And it fills it in. You like that idea? I like that it extends it. Yeah. Yes. We can plant we can plant plant them on wherever they fit. Like in all in all honesty, like we have to have like a roundness shape. This is another thing too. As I get putting these on here, to come take a look at this for a second. They fit quite nice right there. I press them on, I can weld them on. But you can't weld, you can't weld this, this, see this shape coming? I can I suppose you cut it off right here. Mm -hmm. And then I could weld back there. But that, but that has to be on an angle. Like that really doesn't give me that. You know what I'm trying to say? I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I, I've got to keep it so the headlight thing the door has to come over, has to come over. And then I can probably, and that's the basics of all this stuff is going to tell me where the fender, the shape that I have, will tell me where I'm allowed to put that, the shape. I mean, let's face it, I would not want to put this way over here and have, well, I can, you could do that, I suppose, make it straight there, but I sort of would like to have a little bit of an angle on it so there's no eye for anything. I've got a nice spot there to go to. It's the exact same way with the trunk lid. There was only a few places where I could put it to manipulate the eye that everything was going right. And uh, you have to watch for that. But that's a pretty cool, that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's pretty cool. I'm not sure, I think, I, I think I've got the headlight doors and the glass for that, so I'm not, not sure if I got the buckets and all that stuff. But that's, what are you thinking? Does it look good from the side, extend it that far? Or would it? Yeah, it does. Can you try tilting it down a bit? Okay, I see. And the headlight would be, out here, hmm. and that can be done. Let's face it, All I have, well, this is what I have to do to do that. I have to cut this up the middle, lay that side down, lay that side down, and then take away. Hmm. I do like that. Jolene likes these headlight doors. Uh, I have another one here that's in really good shape, and basically I just take the same amount off and then try to plant the same amount on. I think I got these fenders from Archie Costin. I think. I was out to see him, but he wasn't home. God bless you, Archie. God bless you, Archie. Um, so that's what we have there. That's what Jolene's really liking. Also, with the grill. I mean, I, I still like the Cadillac one. And I'm only showing the ones we have. Um, them ones up the, over there, they're over there in the pile, are the ones that require, basically, uh, in my opinion, for me to weld the fenders to the car, and I don't think I want to do that. I don't think, not yet. Um, I, st I might, you never know. But for me, uh, the ones that are capable is that one, and that one there is pretty capable, the, the Cadillac one. And the reason being is I've got this here down to repair. This piece here is connected in here, so that I'm thinking that's allowed, that allows me to mess with that now. Now that I have to repair that, I can cut that and do whatever I want with it, just as long as I you know, put something back in there for the bumper, I guess. And if I'm having a bumper on it, I don't know. There's, there's another choice. Bumpers, who knows? Um, but, all right, thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. We'll probably, we'll probably jump into something tomorrow because it seems like Joey's quite happy, quite happy with that. Um, if you have any ideas, send them in, please, and thank you. I really appreciate, like, I mean, um, I really appreciate 
the idea of taking the pillar thing off. I'm, I'm glad that we've done that. Not sure if I would have come to it or, or not, have not, sure, but it does look flowing better, and it does look sleeker the whole way. It does look sleeker. Yeah, it's going really good. So we got both doors tacked in place. Um, the shape is pretty well basically there. I got quite a bit of, well, there's, there's so much work everywhere, but I really want to get it looking where I want to get it, and then uh, that'll make me even happier. Maybe I can step another hurdle and, and get to it and do a little bit of grinding and filling, maybe. All right, everybody, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Have a great day. Almost forgot it. Almost forgot it. And if you have any ideas, you can send them in. You're more than welcome. Dan the man, I guess he's up to 30. <laughs> huh? I usually do 53, just because I'm 53, why not? Uh, yeah, so just grabbing ideas today. If you have an idea of your own, if you know of any stock I have that I've never paid attention to, <laughs> <laughs> fill me in. Have a great day, everybody. Come back tomorrow. Queen Julene would like to thank everybody for coming back. And she says, have a great day. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah.